If you are, you know, definitely awake, if your medical condition involves strobe lights, um, you should get the fuck out of here, because this is going to be fucking insane. Why do you always start, like, you always start a quick one? Quick looks! <laughs> <laughs> Bruh! Uh, I'm Josh from The Amazingly Terrible. Uh, uh, I'm Brady. And I'm Timmy. And, this is quick and we're looks. here looking at Res AG. Strobe lights, strobe lights, strobe lights. On Xbox Live Arcade. So, Josh, do you have your trans vibrator shoved firmly up your ass for this? Uh, if I did have one, you could actually <laughs> plug it into the 360 and use it. It's pretty fucked up. You could use it. You could also, um, you could also use uh, put in another controller, and it'll do the same thing. Wow. You could put up to, like, three controllers, I think. That's, fucking That's a whole lot of vibration. That's right. So, the only... <laughs> Yeah, so Res H, uh, Res HD is an upgraded version of the original Res, and it's awesome. You should own it, because it's one of the greatest games of all time. <laughs> it's the same techno, great music, and like... It's an on-rail shooter, but it uses music. It is an on-rail shooter, and, but like half the time I feel like, what the fuck is happening around me? It's not yeah. really a hard game, it's just one of the most confusing games. It's you more... try to analyze it for like something that makes sense. It's more of an, audito- uh, an, uh, an audio focus yeah. game. It's like if you like audio stuff, if you like, you know, stuff like that. If you like, because uh, this came from an era where, you know, we didn't have guitar here on Rock Band. So they were thinking of different ways to actually play music in games. Like Jets Radio Future was... Well, like, it, like, uh, Guitar like, Man. Genre. Well, like, stuff like Guitar Man. And Up Jammer Lamy. Up and Prapper were trying to take music and make it out of gameplay. This had gameplay and then inserted music into the gameplay. That's right? true. So. Like an everyday shooter kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. Totally, like everyday shooter. Um, but the best song on here is Area 5. So that's what we're going to do. I thought we should just start and play the whole thing. Nope. Like an hour. Nope, just doing Area 5. Because <laughs> it's the only good... It is the best... It is the reason to play Red Saint Pete. By the way, if you don't understand what the fuck's happening on the screen, it's totally understandable. So, you, you control the main character down here, and then you control this reticle. Well, the character just moves by herself. Um, but... Um... You can hit the A button and cause all these beats and noises. When you shoot these things, it makes also music. Um, so yeah, it's an on-road shooter. With a more focus on music than anything. Now what's cool is you actually make part of the song. Yeah, you make the beats and noises in the background. And it's awesome. <laughs> it's it's yeah, great. It's really I really don't want to talk much because I yeah, really cause love it, the song. Because it really sounds good. Um, yeah, and uh, it's only like 15 bucks, I think. Uh, yeah, it's 15. And it's totally worth it. Uh, it's, 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 it's a great game. I don't know. Even like, I feel like even though with graphics enhanced and everything, I feel like this game will still be played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's just, you know... And, and the art style, like, has a, like, a kind of a... We're in a computer Tron world, you know. We're, we're in a computer in itself. Because the whole, vector graphics. Yeah, the whole story is, like, we're in the internet, basically. Yeah. Trying to rescue somebody who's, who's inside the internet. They're in the internet, um, taking their mans, and we gotta get the mans back. Exactly, so... Yeah, because what are you gonna do without mans? It's true. Oh yeah, so yeah, you can collect those orbs and they level up your character. When your character levels up, um, they uh, make different beats, different music noises. That's kind of like Bitcher, brother. Yeah. Well, well, the beat gets you flatter. Oh yeah, yeah. Flatter. When you collect those orbs, the, the music itself gets off. But... Yeah. It also changes slightly. Yeah. So. Oh, I like it. So yeah, all these notes I'm hitting, like, are, are me just shooting different enemies. I'm targeting it. And targeting makes noises, too. Use target and shoot. That's basically the game. 
is it. And you don't even really move, do you? No, the character moves by itself. Yeah, you just kind of choose what round. You kind of just aim this reticle and shoot. Which is pretty rad. It's great. I don't know. It's, it's great. I don't know. They're making a, a spiritual sequel to this game called Child of the Deep. Yeah! And right. I totally, I totally won't play it. And it's yeah. supposed to be like, uh, it's a uh, connect enabled, so move your hands around to it. That has my favorite part. The, 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 the mind. Yes. This actually has the potential to be really good. Yeah? Oh yeah. The Child of Eden? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm excited. It's supposed to come out next year though. Early next year. Well, the I have yeah. a lot of hope for the connect because of games like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of like a boss. No, it's, it's a sub boss. That's what I'm saying. Like, the game is actually really fun to play too. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it might not be, like, the hardest game in the world. No, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's pretty chill for what it is. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of there. You actually enjoy playing it. I mean, it's like Star Fox, really, in my opinion. Star it, Fox isn't hard, it's it is kind of like Star Fox. Star Fox can be kind of hard. It's true, it depends on what you're doing. You can make it hard. It's true. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening on the computer. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, actually. Pretty fucked up. Uh, I don't know if we'll play this whole level. Well, we'll, um, we'll at least get to, uh, the near the last part. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, it's like, this is <coughs> definitely one of, one of my favorite music This will probably be one of our just short, quick ones. So. Oh yeah, I mean, friends, you can't really keep someone interested in that much. Yeah. But it's really... It's, I really don't want to spoil much. I mean, there's, there's not much, really, like, a story. There's not much to spoil. I mean, there's kind of a story, but, like, it, it's more like what you interpret. In story. Yeah. I like the ground pulsating. Oh yeah, I always talk about it. Don't, 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 don't. This is this is one of the few games where like the background is really the biggest part of the game, which is awesome. It's like that and Flower. It looks really good. Yeah, I mean Flower. Uh, Flower looks really good too. Well, I mean the whole point was like the background and deserting everything. Uh yeah. <clears throat> and obviously like making flower petals. Making flower petals. You should do that. Actually. That's all. Awesome. That's a great game. That's a game I actually gave ten out of ten. What? <laughs> I mean, yeah, for what it does. I mean, yeah, sure. See now, like upgrading my oh god, upgrading my dude. Now she sees like lasers. Yeah, he's made of liquid metal. Like slightly different noises. Definitely techno and like futuristic. Totally yeah. It's totally and like techno. so if you if you're into techno and like totally like yeah. I don't know, the director uh, of Q Tetsuya Tetsuya Mitsuguchi. Yeah. Uh, he um, he said he created this game to try and invoke a sense of synesthesia. Really? Which is a, a complete like uh, synesthesia is like when you're one to one with the audio. When you see like, it's that thing where like you see colors matched with letters, and you associate the certain colors with letters. Yeah. And I, I find it interesting that Child of Eden don't use the connect because it's like, it's one it's one more step removed to like a complete like immersion kind of thing. Yeah. That's what synesthesia is. I think they got pretty close. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it sucks that this game wasn't really appreciated. Or anything like that. I'm oh, sure God. That there were people like me who were crazy. There were some, there was a few amount of people who appreciated the game when it came out. Yeah. A lot of people I mean, were just like, what the hell is this crap? I don't know exactly. I mean, since then, it's got re-released on the, you know, everywhere. Now you can get it on PS2 and... Steam, right? Yeah, and everywhere else. You can't get it on Steam, but... Or PC. You can get it on the PS2. You can get it on the Dreamcast. Yeah. You can get it on Xbox. 
It's one of the few like Dreamcast games I was really getting into. Really. It's great. Yeah. One of my favorite games of all time. <laughs> it's a great game. I know I said I'm saying that phrase like a lot tonight, but yeah. We are playing some of your favorite games. We are playing some of my favorite games of all time. Playing some great games tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We played a couple of crappy games. Wait till I get some crap. Yeah, we can get some crap. I think the only really crappy one we played tonight was Agent Swing. It wasn't bad. It was just bad. It was the definition like, of bad, and it was the definition of free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but D Doritos Crash Course is free. Too. It's true. I think that like, like that's funny, we've talked about Agent Swing in every one of these videos except for the Super Mario 64. <laughs> exactly, because we didn't play it. Though. I don't think we talked about it that much in the Mark of the Title video because we were just. Uh, we talked about it the beginning. Y'all were quiet as hell. Yeah, because we didn't know we never played the game. Yeah, we didn't know what was going on. We were kind of like know, if I played to... the game, I'd just be like, oh, it's, yeah. It's but cool. everyone's played Res. It's quite. I think it's it's up there in my book. Is it's up there as a classic like Mario is and Sonic. Yeah. It's like I one thing classic games I could never stop playing. It's like. You got some Zelda, you got some Mario, you got some Sonic and Metroid, and then you got Red. Yeah, I put it up there. Um, I mean, it's great. I love music rhythm games like crazy, though. Oh yeah. So of uh, course, our vast list of insane games. Yeah. We all we all. That's what we're gonna do a lot. We got Dance Central for that. We got yeah. ADR. Wait till our Dance Central video. Oh, That'll be awesome. Right. That'd be terrible. We'll bring it over for short. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. Yeah. That's gonna be terrible. Dance That's Central is gonna be a uh, hideous abomination. As long as we don't have to do the jazz walk, we'll be good. I could, I could do the jazz. Fuck jazz walk. Jazz walk's amazing. Anyways, Rez, like, yeah, yeah Rez is great. <laughs> I, I seriously think that like, it's, it's not even just like the tango beats. It's the different variety of tango beats in every level. Yeah. Like yeah. one's more like a trance. One's more like hardcore, like I'm in the club, like chilling. I'm in the club. Oh god. I, I I can't honestly remember the name of the game, but it was a game that came out for the Famicom. Like, yeah. Years ago, that was actually kind of the same as Red, but it was more of a platformer like Mario. Yeah. But killing enemies and doing things within the game would cause the beat of the music to change. Uh. I remember Groove, which is kind of... That is not... Th this, was, this was on the Famicom, because Hanno no, caused the change. Oh, what was the, what was the uh, other shooter? Beat, was it Beat Mania? Or? Other shooter? The, uh, Groove? No, like, Groove was one, but Beat... Wasn't Beat Mania? Beat Mania, Beat Mania... There's a lot. There's Beat Hazard. Beat, beat Hazard. Beat Hazard, that's what it was. The indie game was $5. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Uh, we'll leave it here. Um, there's the internet, so... Well, you're in the internet, and just like, I turned to a baby. Yep. And yeah, uh, so, uh, that's Rez. It's 15 bucks on Xbox Live. Uh, you should buy it. It's well one worth of, it. It's one of the greatest games of all time. No suck in Rez's cop. But yeah, who are you? The guy that should buy Rez. Thanks for watching! 15 bucks, 1200 points, Bob. Brady out. This thing's in. Quick looks!